Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another episode of Things I Like. I'm Claire, I draw, I make music, I take photos at concerts, make magazines, and I talk on this YouTube channel. And during my time on the internet and going to local shows and things like that, I've been able to interact with lots of cool but small bands and musicians that I really like, and I thought I would share those bands and musicians with you all today. And a lot of these artists are local to my general area, like Los Angeles area, but some of them are also from abroad. But either way, they all make super cool music, and I hope you give them all a listen. The first person I wanted to talk about that I have on my list is Zach Moeller. He releases music under his solo project Wish, and he's in a band called Silken. And under his solo project, he has two albums and an EP and he has one single with his band. And the first time I watched him play live was at an open mic about a year ago, and I thought he sounded really good. He has a really nice voice, and the song he played is his song Angels Awaiting, I think. It's on his newest album. And I would put his music under the alternative shoegaze, those kinds of genres, um, but it, it sounds really good, so check it out, please. And I photographed him a couple of times at some shows, and he sounds really, really good live. So if you ever have the chance to see him play, then go watch him play live. Uh, super nice, super talented. Shout out, Zach. The next band I want to talk about is called Noragami, and they are a screamo band, and they're currently working on releasing music. And the first time I saw them play was at a show called Tricks 2 run by the Heart Destruct Music Festival, shout out to them, and they sounded really good. I'm really into that sort of screamo and emo kind of music, and they're really talented. Uh, yeah, I love their music, and they are also some of the nicest people I've ever met in the local music scene, so shout out to them. And they also have some pretty cool merch. I actually bought one of their shirts, and I have it with me right here, and I really like their merch designs. They look really cool. I wish I had all of them, but I'm broke, but <laughs> whatever. They make good music. They have cool merch, super nice people, and yeah, I love photographing them, and they're probably one of my favorite bands in my local music community at the moment. Continuing on with the sort of screamo thing, I wanted to mention another local band who makes music under the same sort of genre as Noragami, and that is Adivan. The first time I saw Adivan play live was at a show I played with the band that I was in, The Biting Thumbs, shout out. Uh, they play, We played at the same show, it was called Tricks. It was the prequel to the one that I was talking about earlier. But I saw them play live for the first time at that show, and they were really fun to watch. I think they played a cover of a Taylor Swift song, if I remember correctly, and that was really funny. And they have good stage presence, I love watching them, and they just released an EP, so if you're into that kind of music, I'd suggest checking it out, I think it's pretty fun. And the final local band I wanted to mention in this video is called Thalassa. I first saw them pop up on social media, and I scrolled through their videos and whatnot, and I thought they sounded pretty cool, and I really wanted to watch them play, but it wasn't until a few months later that I actually got to see them play live, and they were really good. I forgot to bring earplugs to their show, so my ears were hurting at the end because they're very, very loud. They're a new metal band. Um, but yeah, they sounded really good. I really love watching them play. They're probably one of my favorites to watch play live. And yeah, great energy, great stage presence, and they're super fun to photograph because they're very expressive and yeah, they're very interesting. They're very good. They also released an EP recently and I really liked it, and they're just very talented, very skilled, very good at what they do. Moving on, I wanted to talk about two bands that aren't from my local scene, but are actually from Norway, that I think deserve a lot more recognition, because, man, these bands are really good, their music's really good, and I really like them. The first band in this category that I wanted to talk about is called Bren, and they are a Norwegian rock band, and they currently have two albums out, one released in 2019 and the other released in 2022. Editing me here, 
I forgot to say that they're actually releasing an album in a few days, but yeah, I'm very excited for that, and check it out when it comes out. And I found them during COVID, during quarantine, 2020, 2021, when restrictions were at their highest, basically, and I was stuck at home, and that was really when I got into music. I'd found Boy Pablo's music, and that really sent me down this sort of rabbit hole of Norwegian bands that have really helped me define my sound and the way I just make music, I guess. And during this phase, I was scrolling on YouTube one day, and their song Duo Yai popped up on my feed, and I clicked on it because I was like, this looks interesting. And I'm very glad I did because now it's one of my favorite songs ever. And their first album from 2019, Elsker, is probably one of my favorite albums ever. And when restrictions sort of lifted for COVID back in the like mid 2021, I want to say, um, my freshman year of high school, I was just listening to that album on repeat every day, basically. So now I think it's permanently imprinted in my brain but it's okay because it's one of my favorite albums ever. And I don't think they have a single bad song in their discography. Um, I can listen to all their music on repeat without getting tired of it. And they're just, they're super cool. They're super great. And I hope to see them play live one day. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about this band called This Days. And they are an indie rock band. They call themselves fuzz pop on their instagram and i think that's pretty accurate so we're gonna call them that and i found them around the same time as brent during that sort of norwegian music phase that i had and i found them while i was watching youtube on my tv not that one but a tv in my room and uh enarko petre is a norwegian radio station and They used to post live performances of different Norwegian bands playing their music, and they had a video, this band had a video for their song, Assign the Truth, on this YouTube channel. So I clicked on it, and I watched it, and that song has been stuck in my head ever since. It's been three and a half, four years-ish since I first heard it, and I love that song. It's really good. And they currently have two EPs out. And they're working on an album, which I'm very, very, very excited for. And 8th grade me would be so freaking pumped to hear that they're releasing an album. So shout out to This Days. And I love how catchy their music is. Like, all of their songs get stuck in my head at some point um, each month, basically. Um, And my favorite song from them would probably be Less About You. I've been listening to that song since its release. And I freaking love it. And one day, I would really love to see these bands play, but as you guys probably know, I live nowhere near Norway, so Bren and this days, please come to the US. I really want to see you guys play live one day, please. That would be like the biggest dream ever for me. This is the end of the video now, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me talking about all these cool bands and I just really love these bands and their music so much, and they're super awesome, super underrated. I wish they had more attention because they really deserve it. And yeah, let me know if you want me to talk about anything else. I love expanding this YouTube channel. I love talking about things that I like. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Check out my music maybe if that's what you're into, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!